Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The Court of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, has announced the following. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, has undergone regular successful medical checkups. The Court wished His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, continued health, well being, and longevity. A number of urgent reform measures have been discussed by the government team led by the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and attended by the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Hamedan, the Ministry of Shura and Representative Councils, Affairs Ghanem Al Busainen, and the Chairman of the Social Insurance Organisation, Mahmoud Al Kohiji, and the Chief Executive of the SIO, Iman Al Mabati. The measures have already been approved and referred to the government and are intended to extend the lifespan of the pension fund to 2086. The government team affirmed the importance of the reforms, which cannot withstand further delay in order to save the pension funds and guarantee its obligations towards 95,000 pensioners. It also affirmed the importance of the joint work in this regard to ensure the sustainability of the fund for the benefit of the citizens. al noted that the urgent recommendations were decided after reviewing a report about the financial status of the pension funds, according to the data on the 31st of December 2018, which expected the depletion of the assets of civil pension funds by 2024 and private pension funds by 2033. Akihiji noted the importance of implementing the necessary urgent reforms to achieve the sustainability of the pension funds. He noted the keenness of the organisation in granting the current subscribers who will retire in the future with the full rights according to the laws in force. For their part, the government team affirmed the importance of taking immediate steps to save the pension funds and ensure their ability in meeting its requirements and working with the legislative authority and the authorities concerned to ensure the sustainability. Following directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Labour Fund, Tam Keen, announced the doubling of its financial grants available to businesses operating in most adversely affected sectors and increased the reach of its business continuity support programme to maximise the number of beneficiaries. Chairman of Tam Keen, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, reaffirmed the directives issued by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince come as part of Bahrain's comprehensive efforts to minimise social and economic impact of COVID-19. The Business Continuity Support Programme will partially cover the operation expense of small and micro enterprises to help qualifying enterprises ensure the business's continuity and better manage the recovery planning during these unprecedented times. To achieve its goals, Tom Keen has developed an operational plan for the efficient allocation and delivery of funds and conditions and deadlines set to be announced soon. Tom Keen's Business Continuity Support Programme has expanded its scope from initially supporting small and micro enterprises to include taxi cab drivers, public transport and bus drivers, driving instructors and kindergarten and nursery workers, benefiting 15,600 companies and 900 Bahrainis to date. The Minister of Education has announced that the next academic year 2020 to 2021 will start a schedule next September with the presence of members of the educational and administrative bodies. The Ministry said that regularity of the students in the classroom or through online learning or a combination of them will be decided with regard to the government schools and what is to be decided by the private schools, kindergartens and higher education institutions. The Ministry underlined the need to observe health and precautionary and relevant authorities in Bahrain with the importance of communicating with students and parents in preparation for the next academic year. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,905 with 447 recoveries, 597 registered new cases and five deaths. The deceased were three Bahraini men aged 43, 62 and 80, along with two expat men aged 54 and 56. The Ministry of Health expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions and avoiding public places when possible.